So people we are back again with another video arsenal transfer news now daily whatever the series is now called we are going to get straight into it give you the latest on all all of the arsenal news whether that is good or bad or good or bad the good news is that we are linked to um lataro martinez which is obviously very good some of the bad news does include this fraudster in granite Xhaka. some of the other news which we are going to start with includes ben white and that is what we're going to start with ben white has officially signed for arsenal we've done two videos on him so they're one of the last two videos on the channel so guys go check them out we did our um just announcement video on him which was in this setup and we did a compilation of him as well so guys go please check that one out as well we did on ben white so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get up the transcript of arteta and edu and let's just quickly read through it um together so Ben White has joined us from Brighton and Nova Albion on a long-term contract. The 23-year-old defender who has proved to be one of Premier League's finest young prospects joined us after spending the summer as part of the England squad at the Euros. Ben White spent the 2019 season on loan at Leeds United where he was an ever-present in their championship winning side, helping them win, to win back promotion to the Premier League after a 16-year absence. Ben White started his career at Southampton before joining Ben White at 16. Um, he made his first team debut at 18. During his time at Brighton, as well as his championship winning spell with Leeds, Ben White also spent successful loan spells with Newport and Peterborough. Technical director Edu said Ben White has been a key target this summer. He has so many qualities which make us excited since he's joining us. Ben's a young English player with a great future. He's very strong defensively, good on the ball with a great passing range. We're delighted to Ben signed and we look forward to growing with us. Mikel Arteta said Ben White was a top target for us and it's great that we've completed the signing. He's been educated to, with two very good clubs, Brighton and Leeds, in recent season. He has benefited well from two very good coaching setups and has shown with both Brighton and on loan with Leeds what a strong talent he is. He's an intelligent defender, very comfortable on the ball and his style fits perfectly with us and of course he's still young. Um, he fits with the profile of what we're building here and we all look forward to Ben being central to our plans. He'll wear the number four shirt and will immediately join up with his new teammates ahead of the mind series friendly match at home to chelsea and if you haven't already go check out the preview and the game for that is going to be later today so that is the news on ben white as he is officially signed for arsenal i'm happy because he's a very good defender but 50 million pound is a bit excessive but look if you need if you want to sign a player you might have to sign you have to sign that player for over the odds sometimes and that's what we've done in this signing and i'm happy that arsenal have done that you know Whatever the transfer fee, we've got our man, and that's what we wanted. And hopefully, Ben White is not the. It's only one of the first of the main marquee signings for Arsenal this summer, and we're going to go over another one in just a second. But I'm very happy, and that is the news on Ben White as he has officially signed with Arsenal. The next piece of news we're going to be talking about is on Lotaro Martinez, and uh, he was part of Inter Milan's title-winning side. And look, he has had so much attention over the last few days um, as Arsenal have been linked quite heavily to him if I'm honest the stories they look like they have some weight to them now um, obviously I have a few sources that I check and you know talk to on the regular and what I know at the moment is that there is nothing between Inter Milan and Arsenal to do with Lautaro Martinez um, a, uh, Inter Milan want money basically they are kind of broke yes they've got big money for Hakimi but they still need quite a lot more money because of the financial issues they're going through they also want to keep their star striker Romelu Lukaku obviously they want to keep Martinez preferably but to keep to have the money to keep Lukaku they might be forced into selling Lataro Martinez. Now, Arsenal are willing to offer players plus cash, but it is understood that Inter Milan only want players. Martinez is on £80,000 a week at Inter Milan at the moment, which is quite a low, a low wage for someone who's pretty good and um, one of the best young strikers in the world right now. Hot, he's a hot prospect. And um, Inter Milan will be looking to agree a fee in the region of 60 to 70 million, it's also been reported. And um, he would be open to joining Arsenal if his wages were tripled, which means he'd be on close to £250,000 a week, which obviously makes sense. Arsenal can afford to give him that kind of money. Now, in my opinion, let's just go to my opinion now. I would definitely take him at Arsenal, especially if we get rid of Alexandre Lacazette, who's been subject of multiple bids from Atletico Madrid, um, even in the past. And Atletico Madrid do have a long-standing interest in the player. So I do think if we sell Lacazette, we might need a striker. 
Um, you know, with the Bamyang's form being uncertain, obviously he's not at the greatest of seasons, not the sharpest of pre-seasons, and Lautaro Martinez could be a very viable option. Now, our priorities are elsewhere, but I wouldn't be mad if we signed Lautaro Martinez. I don't think it'd be happen. I think it is a dream signing because he's such a young, brilliant talent. But we'll just have to see how this one develops. But leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Would you take Lautaro Martinez at Arsenal? I definitely would, as I've said many times. But it's going to be a very difficult deal to make happen. Because Arsenal do want the likes of James Madison. Arsenal do want a right back still. Arsenal do still want someone like a Locatelli or a Basuma type. Or another player we're going to talk about in a second. So let's just see what happens with me, in my opinion. And that's the news on Lautaro Martinez. The next bit of news is on Bruno Gumaraish, who has also been linked quite heavily with Arsenal over the last few days. Obviously, we've not had a chance to speak about him, so I quickly want to touch over um, Bruno Gumaraish. And he's a player that we have been linked quite heavily with for quite a few years. Now, before he joined Lyon, when he was in Brazil playing over there, um, we were one of the clubs interested, quite heavily interested, in signing him. Now, I think this was the same summer in which Rane Xhaka was linked to an exit in which we were trying, Edu was trying to look to bring him in. I think Arteta was here at this point. So we have had a long-standing interest in Bruno Gumaraish. Now, I have a contradicting opinion to some. At the time we were linked to him, you know, when he was um, in Brazil, I would have definitely taken him because I would have definitely taken anyone over Granit Xhaka. And I still would probably take him over Granit Xhaka. Um, but he hasn't done much at Lyon. Um, he hasn't really lit up the spotlight like the likes of Jose Mawa have. And the sort of price that Lyon are asking for is close to 40 million euros, which in my opinion, it's too much money. And he ain't worth that much. I think at best, he's probably worth around 20 to 25 million quid, similar to what he actually signed for um, to Lyon, because I don't think he's actually improved that much since he's gone there. And he's not really ripped up many trees, if I'm honest, especially in the European spotlight, according to midfield. He's just not... He's not really done it, and I'd rather have someone like a Basuma. For me, that's the dream, or um, even a Locatelli, let's be real. And I do think the likes of Locatelli and Basuma are better than Bruno Gumaraish, but he wouldn't be the worst signing in the world, but he definitely wouldn't be the best signing we can do this summer in that position, and I would rather focus on other targets. But that's just my opinion on him. There haven't been any formal talks or advances. We've just been heavily interested with him again, because this also happened a few years ago, which I remember quite fondly. But... Bruno Gumaraish has been linked to Arsenal once again. Finally, the subject of the topic of the title you've been waiting to hear about is Granit Xhaka. Lovely. Um, he's going to sign a new deal, apparently. Um, I did report to you guys that total agreement had been reached. A deal had been agreed between Xhaka and Roma and Arsenal and Roma. But that does not seem to be the case as... Um, which is obviously my mistake on my behalf. I disagree. I, I got it wrong. I apologize. That's my fault. Um, but Granit Xhaka and Roma have had an agreement on personal terms. However, Arsenal and Roma are set to find an agreement as Roma have offered 12 million euros plus 3 million euros in add-ons, which equals to 15 million euros. Roma are not willing to increase the offer. And by August, mid-August, if you know, Arsenal do not sell Xhaka for that kind, if that money, then they will move for Dortmund's Thomas Delaney. So Arsenal do need to make a decision on Xhaka whether to get rid of him to Roma for what they think is a cut price fee, not for me, but for them. Um, and for Xhaka, you know, will he sign a new deal or not? In my opinion, just accept the 50 million and get rid of him. We are miles better a team just without him in the squad the fact we're getting 15 million on top is just a bonus i'm not even kidding just getting him out of the squad is a bonus to the side just levels bonus and let's just hope fingers crossed this does not happen and he does end up going to roma i personally do think he'll still end up going to roma because of the amount of links have still happened and the, the player's desire to still go to Roma because it looks like he doesn't want to stay at Arsenal anymore. It does look like Arteta's in agreement that, you know, he's not going to stay. So it'd be really weird if he did sign a deal, but I'm going to try and not go off at a tangent um, like I have done on other sites. But, okay, yeah. Jacka, just go. Just go and let's just get this done with. So that is it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.